Ending HIV is about all of us. This is not only a bold statement, it's true. Because after over 40 years of research, we've learned valuable information that may help researchers find an HIV vaccine. But we need your help by participating in vaccine studies to learn more. For your family, your friends, your community, for all of us. You may have a lot of questions, and that's okay. We're here to take you through all the scientific lingo and help you make an informed decision. Let's start with the basics. A vaccine is a substance that teaches your body how to recognize and prevent a particular infection or fight a disease. To be approved and accessible to the public, it needs to go through a very rigorous research process. This process begins in test tubes or in mathematical models and computer simulations. Ideas are refined, and the best approaches are selected to develop experimental products. Then, preclinical testing begins to see if the product is safe in animals. Even if a product is effective in animals, the only way to prove it works in people is to study it in people. When we move into human studies, they are called clinical trials or clinical studies. These come in three main phases. In phase one studies, we involve a small number of participants usually less than 100 people. For our HIV prevention studies, we enroll people who are HIV negative, are generally healthy, are free of specific medical issues, and have a low vulnerability to being exposed to HIV. The main purpose of a phase one study is to test the product's safety and see if it causes an immune response. If the results look promising, we can move to phase two. Phase two includes several hundred volunteers. The purpose is to understand even more about the product's safety and any immune responses. Questions about the right dose to use and the best scheduling of the doses can also be examined here. Lastly, in Phase 3 studies, we include volunteers who have greater vulnerability for being exposed to HIV. They are followed over time to determine if the study product works to prevent or control HIV. If the results are successful, the product can go through a licensing process so that it can be distributed to the public. This is a very simplified version of how the study phases work, and of course, not all products follow the path smoothly. For example, sometimes products are reformulated after phase two, which means they need to be tested in phase one studies again. In all cases, study volunteers play a crucial role. Now you may be wondering, Will I be given the virus? Why would I even want to become science's guinea pig? For starters, we want you to know that if you decide to participate in an HIV prevention study, you will not be given the virus. No products used in these studies contain live HIV, killed HIV, or HIV-infected human cells. These study products cannot cause HIV infection or AIDS. Also, unlike guinea pigs, study participants can make their own decision about joining the study. In fact, all study participants go through a process called informed consent, where the research team explains all the details of the study, makes sure that volunteers understand all the risks and benefits of being in a study, and all of the details of what will happen before they are asked to make a decision about joining the study. So volunteering is not like being a guinea pig at all. We are here to answer any questions participants have to make sure they understand what is involved before, during, and after the study. Another critical question you may have is about side effects, and of course, these vary from person to person, and can also depend on the study product a person gets. The most common side effects are usually mild to moderate and only last about two to three days. Common side effects include soreness around the injection site, redness or itchiness, fever, muscle aches, and pains. These are often known as flu-like symptoms and usually can be treated with rest and non-prescription pain relievers. These are similar to the side effects seen for licensed vaccines. During the informed consent process, volunteers are told all the details that are known about side effects for the specific product in that study. Now that you know the basics, we hope you feel more comfortable thinking about participating in an HIV prevention study. Still have questions? Please visit our website helpendhiv.org to learn more and to register as a potential study volunteer so that we can be in contact with more information about an upcoming study happening near you that may be a good fit.
HIV, and all of us.